In this video, we're overclocking the Xeon W7 3465X 28 core Sapphire Rapid CPU all the way up to 5.1 gigahertz in five minutes or less using the Asus Pro WS W790E Sage SE motherboard and EK Pro custom loop water cooling. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and don't just copy these settings and apply them to your system. If you want to learn how to overclock this kind of a system, have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on my channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, go to the AI Tweaker menu. Set ASUS Multicore Enhancement to Enable to Remove All Limits. That will unleash the Turbo Boost 2.0 power limits and lets the CPU run at unlimited power indefinitely. Set CPU core ratio to by core usage. That allows us to configure the overclock for different scenarios ranging from one active core to all active cores and enables us to run the cores significantly faster when there's more performance headroom. Enter the by core usage submenu. That gives us access to the Turbo Boost 2.0 ratio configuration. Set Turbo Ratio Limit 1 to 51. Set Turbo Ratio Cores 1 to 8. Set Turbo Ratio Limit 2 to 49. Set Turbo Ratio Cores 2 to 12. Set Turbo Ratio Limit 3 to 48. Set Turbo Ratio Cores 3 to 16. Set Turbo Ratio Limit 4 to 47. Set Turbo Ratio Cores 4 to 28. Leave the By Core Usage submenu. Enter the specific core submenu. This menu contains Intel's overclocking toolkits per core ratio limit and voltage control options. These two tools let you control the upper end of the voltage frequency curve of each core inside your CPU. When we set the per core ratio limit for a core, it restricts that core's voltage frequency curve to the specified ratio. Set core 7 specific ratio limit to 50. That's the only core of our CPU that can't run 5.1 GHz at 1.35 volt. Leave the specific core submenu. Set DRAM frequency to DDR5-6800. That increases the memory frequency from the base frequency of DDR5-4800 to DDR5-6800. Enter the AVX-related controls submenu. Now we can adjust the CPU ratio offsets associated with various frequency licenses. The ratio offsets help achieve maximum performance for SSE, AVX and AMX workloads. The AVX ratio offset is applied on a per core basis as it's subtracted from each core's per core ratio limit. Set AVX2 ratio offset to per core ratio limit to user specify. Set AVX2 ratio offset to 3. So the maximum AVX ratio for most cores is 48x, while for core 7 it's 47x. Leave the AVX related controls submenu. Enter the DRAM timing control submenu. Enter the memory presets submenu. That gives us access to memory tuning presets for specific memory ICs. The presets will adjust the memory timings and voltages. Since we have a vCaller memory kit with Hynix ICs, we use the profile for Hynix DDR5-6800 memory. Select load Hynix 6800 1.4 volt 8 by 16 gigabyte single rack. Select yes. Leave the memory presets submenu. Leave the DRAM timing control submenu. Set max CPU cache ratio to 27. That increases the mesh frequency to a maximum of 2.7 gigahertz. Set vCore 1.8 volt into manual mode. Set CPU core voltage override to 2.4. Increasing the VCC in from 1.8 volt to 2.4 volt helps reduce the current draw at high power consumption. That makes it easier on the VRM. Set global core ISVID voltage to adaptive mode. In adaptive mode, the CPU relies on the factory fused voltage frequency curves to set the appropriate voltage for a given ratio. When configuring an adaptive voltage, it maps against the OC ratio, the highest configured ratio. In our case, that's 51x. Set additional turbo mode CPU core voltage to 1.35. That defines the highest VF point for every core's voltage frequency curve to 51x at 1.35 volt, slightly higher than the highest factory fuse voltage of this CPU's 28p cores. Then save and exit the BIOS. We get a solid uplift in single and lightly threaded benchmarks by increasing the maximum core frequency of most cores 
by 500 megahertz from 4.6 gigahertz to 5.1 gigahertz overall we see the highest performance improvement of plus 50.60 percent in v-ray 5. the highest core clock reported in the operating system is 5.1 gigahertz when running prime 95 small ffts with avx disabled the average CPU effective clock is 4,466 megahertz with 1.154 volts. The average CPU temperature is 91 degrees Celsius. The ambient and water temperature is 32.9 and 42.3 degrees Celsius. The average CPU package power is 639.4 watts. And the average CPU input power is 930.3 watts. And that's it. I thank you for watching and the Patreons for their support and see you next time.